tired of your workouts lacking intensity and the muscle just piling on, then you should get yourself some loadable dumbbells. I've done full range of motion my entire life, and now my muscles are too big. Thankfully, these prevent that. Can you really say you've run the rack if you haven't manually changed each increment using Olympic dumbbell handles? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. At least that's what I always say while I'm gouging my legs up with these loadable dumbbell handles. If you're low on space or want to precisely control the weight, well, you've already got the plates and the collars, so Olympic dumbbell handles are going to be your cheapest option. And even if you later on upgrade to some fixed dumbbells or another option, you can still use these for heavy exercises or other movements. And you can go pretty heavy with these without having to remortgage your house like a pair of 150 pound dumbbells would force you to. Now, can't lift 150 pounds, you say? It's not about what you can lift. It's about looking sexy on Instagram. So for this video, I'm gonna give you my top pick, my alternative, and my budget pick for Olympic dumbbell handles. So let's get started. Let's be honest here. Everybody needs some form of dumbbells for their home gym, and that's so they can work the most important muscle in the body. Every true influencer knows that every other workout, every other day and exercise is just you covering up the fact that you're waiting to get back to arm day. So when it comes to dumbbells, you have three options. There's fixed dumbbells, which in my opinion are the best option, but they're also often the least logical option for many home gyms. That's why I have an entire set. They're very expensive and take up a ton of room, but normally the most durable and convenient during a workout. But the problem with a fixed dumbbell is when you start going heavy, they're really expensive. If I wanted a pair of 125 pound dumbbells from Rogue, for example, it's gonna cost me over $700 shipped to my door. And even a rep's gonna be over $500. That's a lot of money. So you can look at adjustable dumbbells next. Now they can still be expensive, but they're gonna have a much smaller footprint. My issue that I tend to have with a lot of adjustables, not all of them, is you're gonna have a lot of plastic involved and a lot of parts. More complex means more likely to break, but are often a great solution for many people. Which brings us to option three, Olympic dumbbell handles. Now we are focused on two inch Olympic size plates for these rather than the handles that work with one inch standard size plates. Now, if you're wondering what does somebody like me need a set of handles for when you've already got a set of fixed dumbbells, well, I've got to really focus and work on these arms to distract people from staring at this ass. So if you're building a home gym or have a home gym, as I've said, since you already have everything else, you just need the handles to recreate all the movements. And if you upgrade to another option later, you didn't blow a ton of money here and can probably still work them into your workouts with unilateral movements or other heavy lifts that you can't afford to recreate with expensive heavy dumbbells. So let's get into the pros and cons. Being the cheapest option might be the best reason to get a set of these things because even if they don't work out, they're only about 100 or $150 for a pair, so they're not gonna set you back a lot of money. That way you don't end up like that guy on YouTube who every week makes the same joke about he doesn't have a full set of fixed dumbbells. How long is he gonna keep this up? Eh, I got a while. They also don't take up much space, so if you have an apartment gym and have to share space under your bed with those other items, they're easy to store and put away. And they can be used to do mostly the same movements as a traditional dumbbell. Now I say mostly because they can be a little large and unwieldy on certain exercises. As for why you might not like using them is they can be hard to get in position and I'm sure we've all had issues getting it up. And especially as your lifts get heavier, they can really dig into your legs. And as I've said, or at least I think I've said, the length on some of these things which hopefully that behaves itself. Uh, the length on some of these things can make it a little difficult to do certain exercises with them, but rather than tempt fate and these things roll off, I'll just insert a clip. It's probably generous to say that switching weights with them is slower. Honestly, at times, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass, especially if you're trying to do like a drop set or you're working with somebody whose weight is different than yours, so you have to switch between sets. And when it comes to bailing out a lift or dropping them, not that I would ever fail a lift, but others might feel more comfortable dropping their, I don't know, rubber hex dumbbells on a rubber floor rather than these with circular plates that will roll wherever the hell they feel like it when they hit that floor. So let's talk about what to look for and a set of handles. Looking for a set of handles isn't that much different than looking at a barbell. You still care about the finish, you wanna know about the knurling, though the weight capacity, not that that's ever a great indication of a barbell, but the weight capacity on these things are normally so extreme, you're probably never gonna test that amount. Length is also gonna play an important role as well, and that's 
that's a loadable sleeve length, how many plates can you get on there essentially? Your handle length and then overall length depending how you like it. And then what about weight? Is it 12 point something pounds or a little awkward or is it something a little bit around it like 15? And then it also comes down to the sleeve. Do you like them smooth or do you like a little rib so you get a little bit of grip? Now let's get into my choices for handles. For my budget pick, as I've been doing a little bit lately, I'm gonna go with Titan. Now, as we know from this channel, not everything Titan makes is very good, but these are actually pretty good. For $100 shipped to your door, these are 20 inch handles with a six and a half inch loadable sleeve, 28 millimeter diameter, and the knurling is not aggressive, but bordering uh, towards aggressive. They have bushings which spin decently and a chrome, but not hard and chromed finish. And they weigh 12 point, who the hell knows how many pounds. Now, if you want a shorter version, they do make a 15 inch version that's $90 shipped to your door. With a three and a half inch loadable sleeve, they're very similar, but shorter. And they weigh about 8.2 pounds. Now for the money, Titan can be hit or miss, but this is one of their better products. These things for the price, honestly, they're bordering on exceptional. Now, if you put them against more expensive dumbbells, they're not gonna compete. But for $190, I'm not sure you could ask for much more. Now let's get to my top pick. Anybody who's been watching my channel for long enough or I don't know, looked over there the entire time I was filming, knew this top pick was coming. These are my loadable dumbbells from Fringe Sport. They come with a lifetime warranty. They're 20.5 inches long. They have a 28 millimeter shaft with a hardened chrome sleeve and a black zinc finish on the handle. They also have bearings, so these things can really spin. Bad example. They weigh 15 pounds each, are $150 to your door, and have a six and five eighths inch loadable sleeve length and a lifetime warranty. I've owned these things for long enough that I can't actually remember when I bought them, and they've performed really well so far. But I will say the only thing that makes me wonder about them a little bit is typically I don't recommend items that are inexpensive with bearings inside of them because it makes me wonder about the longevity. Again, absolutely no issues. These things have worked flawlessly, but it makes me wonder years and years down the road if I'm going to have issues. Now let's get to my alternative pick. Now my alternative pick, again, is not much of a surprise, especially if you've seen my After the Essentials video. It's the Rogue DB15 or DB10 based on your size preference. Now, they are expensive at over $300 shipped to your door. So is that worth three times the cost of these or twice the cost of those? That's kind of up to you if that rogue American-made quality, and it is a jump in quality versus either of those, if it's worth that price difference. It's essentially a miniature Rogue Ohio bar, uh, same knurling, same shaft diameter. They're also sold individually, though if you're purchasing just one for unilateral movements, they're awesome. They come with a bright zinc sleeve and a black zinc handle, though there is an option for a stainless steel handle as well. And they're 20.5 inches long with a 6.75 inch loadable sleeve, if you like it a little bit longer. But emphasis on a little bit. It's only a quarter of an inch longer than this sleeve and an eighth of an inch longer than the fringe sleeve. Now from there, they have the DB10s, which weigh 10 pounds. They're 14 and a half inches long and they have a three and five eighths inch loadable sleeve. And yes, they are expensive, but they are not the most expensive option. And Rogue makes its dumbbell handles, which are expensive and probably unnecessary. But this is coming from a guy with a commercial quality cable machine, an incomplete set of fixed dumbbells, and more barbells than any human could ever use. So what do I know? Now they are well-made and they're kind of cool, but if I'm spending that much money on my handles and my bumpers for my handles, I'd probably just look personally at fixed dumbbells. And since I don't have a specific need for being rough with my loadable dumbbells, I just use Ollie plates. And Rogue says not to drop them from overhead anyway. And for what it's worth, the dumbbells are made in China, which apparently is on this side of the screen, and the handles are made in America. Let me know in the comments what type of dumbbells you have, whether they're fixed, adjustable, or loadable, or other options you want me to look at. I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you next week.